Hey everybody, Rich here. This video is going to cover the high-level overview of the automation system in AppSheet. All automations in AppSheet come in the form of a bot, as you can see in this diagram here. Every bot you create has two high-level components. One is an event, and the second one is a process that runs in response to that event. And then within that process that runs in response to an event, there are different steps and tasks that can be associated with those steps as well. So focusing in on events, as I mentioned before, events are the first component that will allow you to run a process when that event becomes true. An event is some sort of data change operation or scheduled operation that could run on a routine basis. For data change, you can specify different conditions that AppSheet will look for, and if the data change condition meets what the event is looking for, that event will become valid. And then you can also do scheduled events that can run in general or against each row in a table as well. And each of those can have some kind of condition that AppSheet checks for before causing that event to become true. And the schedule can run on daily, weekly, or monthly basis. The second component is the processes themselves. And these processes can have different steps and tasks that run. When creating a process, all processes are tied to a table, just like, just like every other type of action in AppSheet. When you add these steps, a step can be a single task that runs, and you can create that task. And these tasks can be email, a pop-up notification, text message. You can call webhooks or even create files that save to a file store. You could run a data type action. And these actions can be the ability to add new rows to a table, delete records, set row values, set field columns in a row, run an action on a set of rows, or even do grouped actions. These are the same type of actions that run under behavior actions. These are the same entities. You can create them in automations, or you can create them under behaviors as well. In addition to creating data actions and task actions, you could also set up branching conditions for your processes. You can set a true false condition. So if the result is true, you can trigger separate steps that run based off that condition. Next is wait for condition. You can actually have processes stop and wait until another condition becomes true. And you can enter that condition here in the field and continue to build out your process in future steps. If I'm in this step, I'll see that there's an option to call a process and I could choose any existing processes that I currently have and trigger that process. And then lastly, I can set up fields to capture and return values as part of a process to pass on or additional processes that you may add uh, to the bot themselves. Going back to review what we talked about here, remember bots are a single entity that becomes an automation in AppSheet. And these bots have one event that triggers a process to run. And all these components inside of a bot, event, process, the steps that are created, they are all reusable in the AppSheet automation system. So you only need to create same processes one time in AppSheet. And then if you need to use that process again in multiple bots, you can. And the benefit to that is you only need to update that process in one location under processes instead of needing to update all the bots that may use that process in the future. There'll be future videos that deep dive into each of these different components of the automation system. This video was meant to be a high level overview. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and have a good one.